Hey everyone, and welcome back to Case Place. My name's Dana. Welcome back to all of my current subscribers, and if you're not currently subscribed, welcome. I hope you'll stay for a while. So, it was kind of a dreary, rainy day today, so I decided that I would come on and try to put together a floral arrangement for my kitchen table. So, sorry, I am so thirsty today. So, I had this um, wooden pumpkin candy dish. We've had it forever. Um, and it actually has handles and a lid, but I, um, we took the handles off, they screw on, and the lid is just put up for the season. And I had some styrofoam downstairs, so I went ahead and cut some styrofoam for it. And I have some flowers from the Dollar Tree. Kind of an array, a different array of all sorts of different things. I forget, hold on, I think I cut the tag off of those. Let me see what they were here. My fupa there. Those are, oh, well, I don't remember what they were. Hmm. Apparently I cut them off a while back. So, but I have bought these. And um, there, I was going to use them in a different floral arrangement and then decided not to. So I have these left over. And I have some maple bouquets and feathers and some berries left. And some floral moss. So, yeah. Put the floral moss in at the very end. I'm going to go ahead and open it up so we have it. It's just this green loose floral moss. Nothing special. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these flowers off all the stems or off the bases so we can see what we're gonna do. All you'll need is a pair of whatever stem, whatever floral uh, fall flowers you want, a container, some floral foam, or just some regular styrofoam if you have some laying around. You don't have to go out and spend a whole lot of money. You can just use whatever you have laying around the house. Um, fall flowers from the Dollar Tree or wherever. If you have some left over from a wreath you've taken apart, you can always upcycle or reuse whatever you happen to have laying around the house. Um, some wire cutters if you need to cut those off. So we have something to work with. Regardless of what I do with them now, I definitely don't need them attached to these stems anymore or these bases. So I can go ahead and just finish snipping these off. It'll be easier for me to store that way. Regardless of what I do with them after this. In there. Not sure whether I'm going to use those feathers and grass or not. If I get to that point and decide I'm going to use them, then we'll cut them off. Okay. So, I'm kind of a what I do to one side, I do to the other side kind of person. So, I usually like to start with something in the center. So, but actually, I think I'm going to start, I think I'm going to start with some of these pretty berries in the center, to be honest. That way I don't have to try to balance anything out. Most stems are kind of long, so I don't want it to be longer than any of my flowers. So, I'm just going to trim it up a little bit here. You always kind of want to make sure you have some of your flowers that kind of cascade over the side. I 
You never want to make sure that everything, you don't want to have everything the same height. You want to make sure that your floral arrangement has some depth to it here. Well, as you all can't see what I'm doing. There we go. I'm kind of trimming these stems down as I go. I didn't want this to be a really high floral arrangement. It is just sort of sitting in the middle of my dining room table. And I don't like anything that sits in the middle of my dining room table to be really high because I kind of want to be able to see everybody across the table. I like for there to be able to be conversation across it and it still be able to be sitting on my table through dinners and what have you so and I have lots of styrofoam down in there so I mean I could technically leave those stems as long as I wanted to I just chose to go ahead and cut them down Here I'll go ahead and do kind of the outside perimeter of my flowers and kind of do one of every other color and then I'll kind of fill in around that. Now that little sucker went flying. Because I do know that I kind of want every other color around the outside of my bowl or on the outside of my pumpkin. And then I'll kind of fill in from there. And decide where we're gonna go from the center. So it's already starting to look pretty nice and full. And as you can see, I've already went through all the flower flowers that I had, except one. I have one flower left. I think we're going to kind of put that in through here. I think I get a little bit more depth in here. I think we're going to stick that one right under here. I never thought that floral arranging would be something I would enjoy, but I've really decided that I actually like it. It's very relaxing. And 
I'm not sure I'm any good at it, but I actually enjoy it. So, now being good at something and enjoying it, now that might be two totally different things. But I do really enjoy it. It is a lot of fun. And it seems to be relaxing. I'm kind of shushing my flowers around there, sorry. I'm not sure that's the most professional way or the most accurate way to do it. It's just kind of my way. I'm kind of getting them in there how I want them in there. So... those right there, but I'm not necessarily digging the ones at the very top. I think we're just going to have to snip those off. <laughs> I don't necessarily like those right there. <laughs> so, we just have to get rid of those and put those down here. So like, there we go. Works better. Okay. I'm not sure. In fact, I don't think that might be enough. All those things, anyway. Okay, I like these little grass pieces. I'm not necessarily thinking it needs a feather, but I like these little grass pieces here. I think they kind of add a little something in there. trim it up a little bit once I get it down in there. Yeah. 
maybe a little bit long for this one here. I like the little, like I said, I kind of like them. I just need to, I think it may need a haircut. like that, so maybe. Yeah, no. I have a bigger flower arrangement. I kind of had something like that in there, but it just doesn't work in that one. Okay. I think I like it just like it is. You know, there's a point in time where you just kind of have to stop and say, oh, okay, it looks good. I think it looks good. Okay, so, all right. So I have this thing about being able to see down in there and being able to see like the little, like foam and stuff down in there. So, after I've gotten everything all done, and it's all finished, I like to kind of take and put a little of the moss down in there. I kind of, I don't do it beforehand. I don't know why. I could glue it to it the foam and everything and it would be just perfectly fine. So and that's what most people do. But I find that it just makes it gets in the way when I'm doing my flowers. Like, I have to work around it because I'm doing the flowers. I have to, like, get the pulls out anyway. So I just. Kind of fill it in around there after I'm done. Kind of whatever space I've got left. where I can see the floral foam or whatever I'm using. This time especially because I happen to have just been using some styrofoam that I happen to find laying around the house because I just decided today that I was going to do my floral arrangement but I wasn't going to leave the house.
So there we go. Minus the big mess on my kitchen table. We have a beautiful centerpiece that you can still talk over top of at dinner. And it's beautiful in fall, not too much. Beautiful fall colors. Mm. There you go. So, there you go. There's my Anna Pumpkin centerpiece for fall, made with my Dollar Tree flowers. So, there we go. Sorry about that. So, I hope you all like our. Dollar Tree centerpiece minus the pumpkin that we had laying around the house. But you can use any type of vase you want to put your flowers in. Um, whatever you have laying around. Those um, craft pumpkins from Dollar Tree would be absolutely wonderful for this. You just cut the top off, they're hollow inside, put a piece of foam down inside of it, and fill it with flowers. That would be a wonderful idea for those. It would make a perfect vase for your table. So, I hope you liked this video. Like I said, if you're currently subscribed, thank you so much for your support. If you're not currently subscribed, I hope you stay around for a while. We'd love to have you as part of our little family. If you are subscribed, please consider hitting that little subscribe bell over to the side. And that will let you know each and every time that we upload a new video. And... I hope you all have a wonderful Tuesday, and we will see you later on this week. Again, thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you later. Bye.